IIMC is an inadvertent entry into an IFR environment. So I was planning to fly visually and I accidentally went into a degraded visual environment. The uh, biggest dangers of flying in, uh, into IMC is that you are possibly uh, can fly into terrain or you can fly into obstacles uh, or you lose orientation. Unquestionably, some of the most fatal accidents involve inadvertent IMC. Uh, where a pilot was not prepared and, and was not in a position to handle the instrument meteorological conditions. Weather changes fast, it's clear one minute, next thing you know you're socked in with fog. And if you're coming back, you got to get back, you got to figure out how to do it safely. IMC is something that can be a scary emergency, but can also be managed very, very well in the cockpit through the proper emergency procedures. And I think that's what an IIMC course would give you. The Intervertin IMC course is designed as such to be aircraft agnostic, not make and model specific. Pilots that come for training have a wide variety of experience, all the way from the private operator to the professional pilot to oil and gas, EMS, law enforcement. The Intervertin IMC course uh, consists of a half a day of ground school and two hours of simulator flying split between two days. The challenge is we take a, a pilot, put him or her in the simulator. One of our instructors um, basically kind of gets them comfortable in the simulator and then introduces a degraded visual environment um, to kind of see what their reaction is when they go into that um, simulated inadvertent IMC event. Yeah, it looks like it's closed in a little bit. You can treat me as air traffic control if you need me for anything. Okay. I am definitely going into it now. That didn't take long. I've gone inadvertent IMC. I am a, a VFR pilot, non-instrument aircraft. When I went to IMC, I immediately got on the gauges and, and staring at that HSI and just trying to keep it somewhat uh, level uh, and, and did a pretty poor job of that. That is not going to work out here, is it? <laughs> Well, I guess that's bad. This was an extremely valuable experience. Um, it's not a big surprise. I, I knew being a non-instrument pilot, never flying or having an instrument rating, it was going to be tough. Um, it, you find out how fast it gets tough in there. I need more practice. Uh, after a while, flying in that environment, if you haven't done it in a while, you, you just need to practice. It's a very perishable skill, and that's why I think the IIMC course is is outstanding. The other thing I would do is uh, install an autopilot uh, system in my aircraft as soon as possible. Absolutely a valuable experience. It's nice to see when you haven't flown in this type of environment in a while, uh, how you respond to your previous training and what you may need to work on in the future. All right, now it really does start to look like I'm starting to lose some forward visibility. I'm trying to maintain my 1500 oil, there goes my visibility a little bit more. Boy, I've just gone complete inadvertent IMC, so I'm going to level out here. Pilots learn about their limitations, the aircraft's limitations, in a high-pressure situation. All right, we'll pause the simulator real quick. Let me take the weather to uh, take the weather out. Let's take a look where we're at. That wasn't very good. It doesn't take very long. No. For the uh, aircraft to uh, lose control. Not at all. This exposed some weaknesses that due to the restraints and constraints in our traditional training environment, we simply can't replicate what we can in this environment in the simulator. Yeah, this was a very valuable experience uh, because it shows that I need some more training, uh, either in IFR training or uh, IMC training. Holy cow. All right, let's take a look at uh, weather here. Eee. Yeah, upside down. Your aerobatics. I know. Pretty go. Cool. People come into the course um, thinking that they might walk away with the skills and the confidence to recover from an inadvertent IMC encounter. Um, but in reality, the course is actually designed to teach avoidance, um, how to avoid the situation. And then in the unfortunate event that you actually do experience IIMC, that you have the skills to be able to recover successfully. Every pilot should have this training. It's, uh, I mean, no one plans to go, you know, double IMC. I mean, that's why it's called inadvertent. You don't plan on it. And when you go into the light bulb, 
it's not long before you're completely lost. And if you don't have any kind of muscle memory or plan to stay ahead of the aircraft, it, it, you're just not going to be in the air very long. Information about the IIMC course can be found on our website. It's Airbus Helicopters North America Training Center website. Uh, please contact us today. We would love to have you at Airbus soon.